Hi there. I'm Andrea uh, with the Screen Printing 2 at CPCC and today we're going to talk about trapping artwork. And what I have here is just a sample piece of artwork that it's all vectorized, it's just ready to be trapped. Um, what I'm doing here is I'm just zooming in on the artwork so I can see it a little better. Uh, first things first, with this kind of artwork, you're going to want to be able to see your trapping once you've set it. So you want to go to View, Overprint, Preview, and it doesn't change the artwork at all yet, uh, but it will once we start adding trap. The next thing you're going to need is your Attributes window, which on the Quick Keys is Apple F11, where you can just come up here to Windows and click on Attributes. Now we have most of everything we need. The next thing we need to do is set these colors as spot colors. Now what you want to do is select one of your colors and then you can come up here to select same fill color and that will actually pick up every bit of this color in this image. Just setting it to a spot color. I'm going to go to my next color and do the same thing. Now, once you have it all set as spot colors, you want to come in and you want to look at the places where all of the colors touch because that's the place where registration is going to be most difficult. So what you're going to do is you're going to come to one of these colors and to make it easier so that you don't have to go through each piece of artwork and each path and put uh, trapping on every single path, you can go up here and do the same thing we did earlier and select the same fill color. And you should get the exact same fill color. And this artwork is nice because it's ready to go. You don't have to worry about picking up any fill colors that doesn't need trap. So what you're going to do from here is you want to come up here to your color palette and you want to switch over to stroke because we're going to be adding an overprint stroke. And all you do here is you always want to trap the lighter color into the darker color. So we're going to be trapping the, I guess, teal color into the black. So we had a stroke of the teal. And as you can see, it did change the artwork a bit. You can see a little bit, zoom in here, you can see a little bit of where it is poked out here. From this point, you're going to come over to our attributes panel, and we're going to tell it overprint stroke. And that vanished. But what it'll do is when the separations are output, those colors will actually overlap each other. Now, we're going to do the exact same thing here with the yellow, go up to select, same fill color, same as the teal, and add a stroke, and over red stroke. And that's the really basic way of adding trapping to artwork. Um, when you get into things more advanced, such as gradients like these, trapping becomes a little more complicated. So for these, what you're going to do is to select same fill color. So now we have all of the gradient selected. What you're going to do from here is tell it edit, copy, edit, paste in back. Now we're just going to remove the gradient from here because we don't need it right now. And if I try and flip the gradient over to a stroke, Illustrator won't let me. But what we're going to do from here is just add a stroke. It doesn't matter which color. Um, it can be any color you want it to. Just make sure it's a stroke. Um, and a stroke of one is just fine for this. But from here, we're going to come up here, Object Path, Outline Stroke. And what this is going to do is actually turn your stroke into an outline. And what 
what I'm doing here is I actually goofed earlier. I'm going to cut that stroke or the, now the over, um, or the fill, and we're going to paste it in front because we want it to be on top of these other colors. Now from here what we're going to do is we're going to take each of these strokes Individually because the gradient is a little different on either side of the wings, but we're just going to pick up one of these strokes. And I'm just going to correct the gradient here. So now we have the same gradient on this over, on this fill here, as we do here. Now the reason we went through that all, of course, so we can add trap, and from here we're going to tell it to overprint fill. And now, you can actually see where it has trapped the gradient. Mm -hmm. And last, at least, when you have something this thin, this small, on uh, an object such as this, overprint fill, um, again. And what overprint fill is, the way it's different from stroke, is the black will not actually print on top of the other colors um, so that there's no trapping involved, you're just right on top of them. And that about covers the basics on trapping. Um, this is with any other form of uh, screen printing or graphic arts development. It's a big piece of it comes with experimenting and figuring out what works and what you can create from whatever knowledge you gain. Hi.